Hello my noble band of outlaws, Outlaw Samurai coming at July with a video! Well, I've been seeing a lot of clips about this clip from Shadowversity. And I thought I'd give my two cents in. Now, these are Nate and Tyra. Two of Shadowversity's employees... And they are about to swing live steel blades at each other. Now, some context that I don't think that none of the other YouTubers that have reacted to this I have seen brought up. Is that A, Tyrant here is wearing a steel brigandine. For those of you who don't know what a brigandine is, it's basically a gambeson with steel plate riveted together. Think of it like segmented breastplate and other heavy-duty clothing. Nate is also wearing rather thick, bulky clothing. And the way they swing the swords is not actually hard. Listen to what they say they're going to do. Rules apply. Now we're getting into, I want to see what this kid thing can handle. Yeah, let's get to it. So, it's time for the actual destruction, the thing that you're all here for. Uh, we're going to be testing this steel. Apparently, it's really good, as we Apparently. said before. And we will grab other safety equipment as needed. Yes. But uh, right now, we're just more worried about if something fractures a joint. Now, that's actually a valid point. More Being more concerned about a sword's edge fracturing than it just clearly snapping. Unless a sword is basically as hard as glass, it's not going to snap when you swing it into another live blade. Chunk off the blade, we need to know there's nothing gets in the eye. So, to start with, we're just going to swing at each other in a simulated fashion. Note how he says simulated, as in he's not... Neither one of these two are going to swing at each other with enough force to seriously run the risk of snapping their blades. ...of how we would swing a real sword at yeah. each other, right? Uh, that's just to test uh, the edge and see how this blade goes. Three, two, one. Two, one. Now, as we saw there, I'm assuming that's about quarter of their full strength, considering Tyrant within two chops can completely snap a 2x4 in half with a sword. Nate is a little weaker in terms of his physical strength, but as we can see here, they are not, hit they are not hitting each other with enough force to cause irreparable damage or immediately snap a blade. Modern steel is a lot harder than the steel of the past. Now, granted, should they be wearing helmets? Yes, should uh, Nate here be wearing some kind of brigadine the same way as Tyrant is? Argumentatively, yes. But neither one of these two are swinging the blade with any near the amount of force required to snap a sword blade. I am. Not to mention that Nate has over 20, 30 plus years of historical reenactment and professional fencing instruction on his side. Tyrant is a prop maker. He makes props on his YouTube channel. And when you have two professionals that know what limits steel can go through, one who professionally trains in fighting with steel, and the other that makes the steel weapons we see in a lot of movies and uh, stage reenactments, a.k.a. Tyrant. Generally, they know how much force to put into a blade so that it will not snap 
nor will it be detrimental to each other. Could more safety precautions have been taken? Yes, but I don't believe they deserve as much uh, backlash as they've been getting, especially because upon reviewing this footage, they're hitting each other's swords with about as much force as this. So, as you can see, hitting this Tonto off this table did not snap it. And I too have smacked steel on steel before. Not with this Tonto. But, we take a look at the dents in the back of this sword. I smashed the back of this crane katana with the back of this orchid katana. A couple of years ago, I was doing some real stupid shit with a 2x4. But, watch. I'm hitting with about as much force as they were, and no snap. Now, you're probably going to be saying, Outlaw Samurai, you're not hitting edge on edge. And no, I'm not. But, Nate brings up the valid point that, since they are not hitting each other with nearly enough force to worry about cracking or snapping the blades they're just basically tapping the swords together to see how durable the edge is that more safety uh, measures are not required at this time the safety glasses they're wearing with how hard they're smacking the blades together is I would personally consider to be adequate safety gear for the test that they are performing. Now, is there still the chance of the blade snapping? Yes, there is the chance, but with modern steel, the chances of the blades just snapping the moment they hit each other is pretty much null and void. I mean, I just smacked two... 1045 uh, high carbon steel blades together and nothing really happened. So, yeah. Good, all right, I'm gonna go hard. Okay, three, two, one. I am. Not to mention the fact that when they bring the blades together into the cross, they're tilting their heads side to side, removing their face from directly facing the sword blades. So... A giant chunk of the blade, we need to know that it's not going to get us in the eye. So, to start with, we're just going to swing at each other in a simulated fashion of how we would swing a real sword at yeah. each other, right? Uh, that's just to test uh, the edge and see how this blade goes. Three, two, one. Two, two one. one. Good, all right, I'm going to go hard. Okay, three, three, two, one. Now, with as many swords as these guys have tested over the years, I want to say I'm confident in their risk-taking assessments to kind of say that we know when we need to break out full safety harness and when minimal safety gear will work. Am I saying that you don't necessarily need full-on safety gear? No. Matthew Jensen pretty much 
wrote the book on how to break a sword safely. But in this test, it's not so much trying to get the sword to break. It's seeing what a uh, weaker 1045 blade steel will do to an SX-105 steel. 1045, SX-105. Good, all right, I'm gonna go hard. Okay, three, three, two, one. I am impressed. Very impressed right now. Huh, this did not... So, in my conclusion, could they have worn some extra safety gear for precautionary sake? Yes. Was it really necessary for the degree of testing they were doing? Not necessarily. It's not as if they were going into a full-on sparring match. They were just uh, tapping the swords into each other a couple of times. So in my opinion, they did this test with the bare minimum safety requirements. Personally, I do wish they would have worn at least a helmet, maybe some gauntlets doing this. But you need to keep in mind that over almost 40 years of stage combat, martial arts, and reenactment combat experience in Nate, and Tyrant being a professional prop designer, Nate knows how much the historical weapons can take a beating and Tyranth knows how to make a sparring grade sword. So these two combined with their experience in total. Personally. I believe makes them qualified to do this kind of testing. With the bare minimum safety gear that they're uh, utilizing. Also, don't forget, Tyrant is wearing a full metal brigandine on his upper body, and Nate is wearing thick cotton clothing, almost like a gambeson. So, maybe cut them some slack. They know what they're doing. If they didn't know what they were doing, they wouldn't be doing this. These are the same guys who made flaming arrows in real life. So, until next time, my noble friend of Outlaws, Outlaw Samurai tells all y'all, be crazy rednecks, be safe, use your weapons, and... Don't be over paranoid and judging people if they're doing, if they know what they're doing to an extent please they're doing this simply to test the swords and personally I believe that they know what they're doing I'm out peace